attack to re-attack and that's where uh, it ended up so now we move on to 165 pounds for the Panthers it's number nine Holden Heller and he is taking on from Illinois Chris Moore Chris Moore 1 and 0 on the season he is a true freshman Heller a red shirt senior 5 and 0 on the season 66 and 40 in his career He and his brother, second year after transferring from Hofstra. And I feel like Holden's really kind of coming to his own here at Pitt, ranked number nine. Cracking the top 10 there. Qualified for the NCAAs last year as well. And I think if you look at this Pitt team, probably a more balanced team than they've had in the past in that they have eight ranked wrestlers out of the 10 weight classes, but they might not have that high level top talent that we've seen the past few years. Nice. Inside shot. Now Heller got to watch with the Hellers because they have some funky moves. Puts himself in dangerous positions and usually comes out on top of most of those, though. It was a nice high crotch shot. Just couldn't finish. Yeah, and Heller for a moment there looked like he was in danger on his back. He was able to kind of scramble out of that position. I know when we talked with, with head coach Mike Boetta, the Illinois head coach, Earlier, he mentioned that the pit wrestler is good in a lot of different positions, and the Hello Brothers certainly very good in the scramble situations. Nice job here by Moore fighting off these attempts from Heller. We're going to stalemate. Yeah, they let that action go on for quite a while there at the edge of the mat. I thought we might get a stalemate whistle a little bit sooner to get a restart. See if Heller can get back into his offense. Forty seconds to go in the opening period. Nice stalling call on Moore as Heller pushing the action here. Like seeing that early on because then it really sets the pace for the whole match. Yeah, I mean you want to, I think, be more aggressive. There's that single leg attack again, trying to secure the back. No points yet. Yeah, he's just trying to drape around the back, wants to force a stalemate here and end the period, and that's what Moore does. So we saw three really good shots there by Holden Heller. Doesn't get anything for it, but I think that kind of sets the tone like you were talking about, Greg. You want to get to your offense early. He knows he can get in on that leg. See if he can get a quick escape here to start the second and then get back to that offense. And if you're more, you do give up the stalling call, but you know, we saw it in the last match, right? They were slow out of the gates, but that second, third period, they come alive with the offense uh, when you saw it there from, uh, from Joe Roberts. So we'll see if that's the same here for Moore. Heller wants to go out the back door this time. Forces himself inside. Nice cross face to a headlock from Moore. And he's got Heller in all kind of trouble. Big headlock from Moore. Heller is going to bridge out of this, but four near ball points plus the takedown. It is seven to one. Moore out in front. And that looked like a case. Heller was actually in pretty good position, just got a little bit too aggressive. Moore was able to get that headlock and throw to the back for seven quick points. Now he wanted to try a pancake, but Heller able to adjust his hips. It was a great job by Moore because Heller went inside on his shot, and it was just such a hard cross face that it just really fell into Moore's lap to hit that headlock. And how do you go about balancing the fact that you, you want to be aggressive, but also you need to 
try to wrestle smarter for a guy that Moore, who clearly was was waiting for that counter counter attack. Yeah, he's, he's wrestling defensively, right? As Moore, so you just got to make sure you're in well good position because you're going to have. Look, you see it again. He's forcing him inside, trying to take that shot away from him. And Moore's making it tough to put good points on the board on him. The technique is huge here for a guy like Heller. He'll get the takedown. That's huge at the end of the period, too, if he can get the ride out. With just 10 seconds left, that's good work at the edge of the mat. He kind of shelved that leg. And then when Moore looked to escape, was able to secure that takedown on the edge of the mat. Yeah, he's got a ride here, and now with the three-point takedown, Moore starts on the bottom in the third period, gets an escape, Heller takedown. We're at a tie match, so... A lot can still happen here, and opportunity for Heller to get back in this, but Moore is able to escape. So now Heller is going to have some work to do here in the third period, and Moore will go back on bottom. We know Heller. I mean, he's not afraid to get onto the offense, so I expect a flurry here, and Moore does have one stall warning, so he can't go completely defensive here. I think he still has to present himself. Yeah, he gets the escape, so it's 9-5. You, you're right, you do draw that stall call plus the three-point takedown, and you're right back in it. Now here's Moore, though, getting after his first shot, and Heller was on his back there momentarily. Two-point match, a scramble around, and potentially dangerous there called. This Heller looked like he was trying to position for the takedown. Fresh start, 1.39 to go in the third period. And if we thought Moore was going to be defensive, that wasn't the case. He came out quick, looked for that offense early, wanted to make the officials know that he was he was not looking to stall here. He wanted to win this and, and secure the takedown. He has his blood here for Heller. And, yeah, no, I mean, he, he knew Heller was going to come after him. So I think going in there, getting his own shot, uh, is the first I think we've seen of Moore taking that shot. It's been all defensive moves to this point. So now how does Heller respond here? That's the question. Impressive uh, true freshman here is Chris Moore, though. Coming in and battling, holding Heller tough. Heller shot in, spin around, now looking for the cradle. Is Moore. Got the cradle. Looks like he has it locked in, just trying to drive through. Now lost the leg. And might have more blood time here. Yes, we do. Boy, Moore has been tough to score on. So these matches, both matches that we've seen so far this evening started a little bit slow, but action's really picked up at the end here. Holden Heller finds himself down four points with just over a minute left in the second match here tonight at 165. And Chris Moore mentioned a true uh, freshman from uh, staying local, or staying, I should say, in state in the uh, state of Illinois. Yeah, a lot of Illinois wrestlers actually on in the lineup for Illinois, not surprising. Similar with the Panthers, they, they have a lot of homegrown talent here in Pennsylvania, and specifically even Western Pennsylvania. So this match gets restarted here. Heller really has got to start getting his offense. He's just got to get more out of position. Obviously have good technique as a shot in more around the waist. Heller able to get around the body. The second There's the takedown, 9-8 now. Imagine he's going to let go. That'll make it 10-8. This is going to set up for an explosive final 30 seconds. The takedown and right out will do it. Heller up at the leg. Good job by Moore diving down on the ankle. At the very least, this is going to waste a ton of time for Moore. Heller's trying to click away. 
Good job by Moore to adjust. Now he's split out wide. Ken Heller get around the back. He does. Takedown has got to be awarded. There it is in five seconds to go. And Heller is going to ride him out. And he's going to win 11 to 10. What a comeback win for Holden Heller. Some late fireworks by Holden Heller. What a win for the Panthers as that levels the dual meet at one match apiece. And I noticed, Greg, Moore kind of slapped the mat there at the end. He frustrated with himself because he wrestled a great six and a half minutes in that last 30 seconds, just was not able to finish it off.